second dip. I absolutely forgot how difficult it is to keep up with Kickstarter promotion when you're an introvert who hates pushing stuff all the time. <sighs> I get this feeling when I'm at conventions. Don't get me wrong, I love going to shows. But I, it's like I'm putting myself in a strange situation of having to interact with a lot of people all in one day, plus the added pressure of not you know, mumbling too much so those who aren't used to my accent can understand me. So by the end of the weekend I'm just drained, but completely drained. <laughs> I just have no energy left to do anything. And I'm kind of feeling like that. So appreciate the efforts <laughs> I'm doing for the campaign. Um, we're so close and the book really wants to be able to go to the printers. I've been posting about all the extra things we can find if we go past the goal and I'm really looking forward to all of that. But anyway, that's why uh, I slept as much as I could over the weekend. And that's why I have a little bit of renewed energy to edit this video. Uh, but no, I'm not very energetic as is though. Uh, I mean, you can tell by my voice. Anyway, drawing cancer, which is Latin for crab. And she is a shy gal, just like her fellow crustacean friends. Uh, she's got uh, silver hair with pink eyes and pink makeup that kind of reminds me of like crab claws. She's also wearing pearls, cancerous gemstone, and for her hair do, she has two big buns and a bunch of small, smaller loose bits, just like, you know, crabs and their big claws and little legs. I'm still using and will continue using marker paper for all of these illustrations, and transfer the sketches with red lead pencil. It's important to draw very, very softly when transferring the line art, because you don't want to get dips on the paper. That's a big issue when drawing on any type of paper, so make sure to practice with very light strokes when you're drawing. I inked and colored this one over Instagram Live. It was pretty late, which obviously contributes to my overall tiredness, but it was lots of, lots of fun. We talked a lot about markers, alternatives, there are two Copic markers, what alternatives we have in Argentina for alcohol markers. Um, there are two vid videos that I want to make once I finish this series. One, it's kind of like a reference on how to start to color with alcohol markers. And another one is what are my recommendations uh, for startup colors for Copics. I've been getting Copics for so many years and at first I didn't know what colors to get. And when you're in a budget, that's really, really overwhelming because they have so many colors. I want to put together like a couple of palettes that will work for different styles. Pal uh, pastel drawings, saturated colors, maybe skin tones, and just make a video about it. Oh, and another idea I have is to make a couple of videos in Spanish. I would love to, for YouTube to allow us to have like two audio tracks, so I could do all of this in both languages, but that's not an option yet. Um, a YouTuber that I watch, her name uh, is Mini Cute Club. She's a Japanese YouTuber and her videos are in Japanese, but sometimes she makes a video when like the goal is to not speak Japanese at all and she has to do it all in English or even the other way around um, because Japanese uses a lot of loan words for several things so everything has to be fully in Japanese and she can't use any of the loan words and I just find that whole concept very fun and I am a mess of languages when I have energy and I'm well rested I'm very proper I but when I'm tired and stressed, everything just jumbles together. And sometimes even the whole into just like good, good to roll sounds to communicate. I just don't know how Hasbando understands me half of the time, okay?
So that's another one down. I actually have inked and colored a bunch of these already. But I really gotta keep up with editing the videos. Next up will be Leo. Oh, and let me make a little special mention. The Patreon Cutie Mail Club is growing so much and I am so thankful for everyone that's been joining. I'm really glad that you like this month theme. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I will be even trying to ship it out earlier than the end of the month so everyone can get the spooky treats before Halloween. Of course, to join the club, you gotta go to patreon.com slash shorimajo and while you're at it, follow my Instagram for art and news. The Kickstarter is still going, we're at 80% at the moment of this recording, so feel free to check it out at the link below, I really want to make the goal. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Ciao ciao!